Hello and welcome to me and my Golf TV. We're Piers and Andy. It's Monday. That means it's the Impact Show and it's also US Open week. It is, yes. The players have got some interesting shots needed to play around Oakmont this week and we're going to be taking you through one shot that could help you next time you're on the golf course. Let's take charge of your game. So welcome to this week's Impact Show. This is where we answer your questions on your game to help you take charge. It sure is. Please get involved. Post any questions you have down below. Make sure you get involved and also follow us on our other social media platforms. Yes, and for all the Golf WRX users out there, make sure you post your questions. We'd love to answer what you've got to say. So, Pierce, it's a special week this week for two reasons. Two reasons. It's two the US reasons. Open at Oakmont, which is going to be amazing. Yeah. And also, we've reached 250,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is great for us. But obviously, thank you to you guys for yep. sort of making this possible we love your support you know for all the interaction the comments you know without this we couldn't be doing without you we couldn't be doing this thank you so much and we have a very special bag here Piz. can you talk we us through do. what this is all right. about so obviously celebrating 250,000 um, subscribers we've got US Open we need to do some giveaways don't we so we have managed to get hold of one of these beauties a limited edition tailor-made staff bag will be used by all the players he won't be playing in the US Open. His ward, no, he's not quite good I enough. do not want to play on that golf course, I don't think. So we're going to be giving away bag, M2 fairway, woods, and lots of other prizes as well. So make sure you go to our homepage on YouTube, on the channel, and you'll see the video pinned as to uh, how you enter the competition. Definitely. So today's video is going to all, all really be about Oakmont. Now, Oakmont is going to be oh. very, very tough. Now, US Open are always tough. They're always tight fairways. They're always lots of rough around, but this one is especially very tight. Tight. lots and lots of bunkers I think 210 bunkers around the golf course 10 bunkers and if you miss the fairway you're half a shot worse off a hole apparently definitely yes exactly that's just ridiculous uh, the greens are very firm yes. and very slick so it's going to test the accuracy from these guys the recovery shots are going to be you know really tough but also the importance of maybe holding the green is going to yeah. be key which is what we're going to talk about today how to play a high soft landing shot when maybe the flag's tight when we want to hold the green pierce and there's a few things and the uh, that we would do we've got trapman to help us out to show us some data with this but there's some key things that the guys at home can do yeah. if they want to get that golf ball up in the air and land and sort of get it to land softly isn't definitely it? coming into the summer as well courses firming up a little bit exactly golf course is a monster as we said in the rough it's kind of hacking it out on the fairway you've got to try and get it up on the green and then and, and stop it and that up in the air sorry then stop it on the green so it's quite tricky so what we're going to do we're going to hit two shots yeah first one is me normal so i've got 150 yards to a shelf in the middle of the green here. So 18th green here at Asprey is a two tier green. Flag is just past the tier. So this is perfect for this demonstration. So I need to hit it more than 150 yards, but I don't want to be hitting it at a, I don't want to be going at sort of 165 because it's going to go into the back towards the bunker. So I yeah. need to be able to get it to go over the tier, hit the ground, hit the green and stop pretty stop quickly. Stop quite quickly. That height so then is key, isn't it? That height is key. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit one now anyway, just a normal shot and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it'll be a good shot, but this well, is just my normal stock uh, nine iron that I'm hitting here. Okay, let's see what the data says then, Pierce, shall we? Here we go. Right at the flag. That is right at I've the got flag. To say, is it going to make We've it actually just got to watch this down. Very oh, <laughs> nice shot. Nice just shot. Running, just running to the back edge though. So that's not done too bad, but the greens here are quite receptive. So that's actually quite good. It nearly went in, didn't it? Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got in the data from Trapman here. So the key data we're going to look at here. First of all, attack angle. So the attack angle, the attack, the angle that the club's coming into the golf ball. We've got 8.7 down. Okay, now okay. Pierce doesn't have any problem hitting down on the golf ball with his iron, 8.7 degrees down. Now the low point of the swing, Pierce, where the club's at its lowest point was yeah. 6.9 inches after the, the uh, after the shot, which is yeah. absolutely fine with an iron. This is what we're looking to achieve with an iron, yeah? Okay. Height, 88.3 feet, um, and the land angle was 46.9 degrees. So the angle of the ball's coming down to the green, 46.9 degrees, and hang time, 5.68 seconds. Right. So that was a good shot. Yep. Nice ball flight, nice yep. penetrating ball flight. Just run on a bit though. How are we going to get this golf ball to launch higher and to land and stop a little bit quicker? Okay, so there's, you mentioned the key, some of the key numbers there, sort of the low point and the attack angle that are important. Obviously, we want to get that height up so we can get that land angle getting in a little bit steeper. But the thing that we're looking for here is the first thing is a major setup change. So let's get the golf ball as opposed to taking my normal setup 
with the golf ball in that sort of position there. Let's get the golf ball and let's move it further forward in the stance. Okay. So as soon as I move the ball further forward in the stance, the tack angle will be less downward and the low point will be less after the golf ball. Definitely. We still want it down and we still want it after the ball. We don't want to yeah. be hitting up on a on a nine iron, but we want to be hitting less down on a nine iron. Perfect. Okay. So setup change, ball position forward. That's relatively easy. Yeah. How about okay. golf swing? So from there in the golf swing, normal back swing. As yeah. I start my downswing, of course I want to be shifting back towards the target, but I don't need necessarily need to be as aggressive and driving forward as much. So I can feel as though my lower body, as I said, it is moving toward the target, but maybe it's a little bit more passive. My upper body doesn't feel like it's covering the golf ball as much. It stays back a little bit. So it sort of looks a little bit more like this. So lower body goes toward the target, but the upper body and the lower body are a little bit quieter as they're coming into the hit. And one thing that we always say when we're looking to play a low shot as we finish the shot is a low finish and all curtailed and almost going round to the left. With this, with the high shot, let's have that full finish. Let's get those arms into a full finish and almost get them, I'm going to feel when I hit this shot here, a little bit higher than I would do normally as Definitely. well. So actually getting them sore, more to sore up in the air like that. Perfect. So we've got the ball position forward. We've got sort of feel as if we can stay a little bit more behind the yep. golfer, which will shallow the shot out. And then this sort of high finish here, which is hopefully going to give us that higher launch and get this ball coming down softly. And close. you'll definitely find if you're someone who takes divots on the golf course doing this, you probably will get a lot of a, sh a lot more of a shallower contact with the ground, yeah. which is great. But it definitely take a bit of practice to start with. But once you get it, you've got another weapon in your arsenal. Now, I, I like to hit these high as well, Andy. Okay. Uh, sorry, see. high, hard, sorry. I like to hit them hard, sorry. Well, your first shot's about three feet away, so it's going to be a tricky one to beat. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, that's that's pretty beautiful, well. yeah, really high. Now the beauty with this is this was a really hard green that I was playing to, perfect. Nice shot. I mean, that's pitched and stopped, hasn't it? Yeah, it doesn't move, it doesn't the move. The first one sort of ran on a little bit. That one actually is pretty good. What about the numbers? Okay, so we're going to look at attack angle again. So we have now yeah, a lot different, 4.7 degrees down. So we're still down, but obviously nice. a lot less down. Yeah. We've got the low point now. It's still after the golf ball, yeah. 3.8. So again, a lot less. Right. So it's a little bit closer to the golf ball. The height was 115.5 feet. So massive difference wow. in the height. Uh, land angle, five point, sorry, 52.5 degrees, um, okay. obviously there. And the hang time was 6.52 seconds. So okay. huge difference, difference on all those things and I mean massive difference in the shot yeah. but still a good shot and you actually still got the distance yeah definitely and that was that was the important thing I mean I, for me I felt like I did a little bit harder to do that and you may actually find that yourself when you want to hit the ball high you may want to get a bit more power into it but it's down to personal preference you've got to work out with that feeling of the setup sorry that setup and that swing feeling and see what how it does for you very good so some key things there that you're going to see the players face maybe at Oakmont yeah um, it's going to be a great it's going to be a great tournament I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to seeing them struggle this week Pierce I am it always happens doesn't it US and always happens. Happens, it does. Open. So guys, post any questions you have down below. We'd love to answer what you've got to say for maybe for next week as well. And don't forget to check out the giveaway on our page on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the like button if you did and also post your comments down below. It's all about you. We want to know how we can fix your game this year. And also, big thank you for getting us to 250,000 subscribers. We really appreciate that. Yes, definitely. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, for more videos every week. And for more golf instruction, head over to meandmygolf.com. Click in the corner there for some great golf content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.